Hello everybody. In this video, I will be answering what is authentication, what is authorization, and what is OAuth 2.0. Authentication is IDing the user. Very simple. What is authorization? Authorization is authorizing a user or a computer to access certain assets. What is OAuth 2.0? It's a process for authentication and authorization. We mix them together by putting an extra software layer on top of OAuth 2.0 because OAuth 2.0 is only for authorization. It, is, it was not intended or designed for authentication. So, what is the process of authentication and authorization that is used today in the modern system? Very simple. It's a four-step process. Yeah, four. <laughs> Step one, you log in, you put your username and password. Step two, a heavily encrypted version of your password goes to the server. Step three, the server verifies the super encrypted password matches the database. Step Four, the server sends a token to the user. That token or cookie is like a door key. It only opens certain doors the user is supposed to open. And it cannot open other doors the user is not supposed to open. There's some extra OAuth 2.0 Okta terminology that's good to know because most documentation online pretends you already know this. When you're installing security on your apps, you will come across this terminology that might confuse you a little bit. Some of it is, for example, a resource owner. What is a resource owner? A resource owner is very simple. It's just a user. You and me, we are resource owners because we own our data legally. What is a client? A client is an app that is requesting permission, for example, you download a video editor and the video editor requests permission to post on your Facebook or wants access to your contacts so it can invite more people to see your videos or something. That is a client in cybersecurity terminology when it comes to authorization and authentication. Authorization server, the server that grants or denies access. Sometimes it's a different server or a combination of systems. Resource server, the server we want to protect. That is the server that holds the data or the information that requires a grant of access before accessing it because it is private. Authorization grant, the code we send to the user when he's going to the to the redirect URI can be used as a flag to select permission to access an account. There are three types of keys for authorizing people and computers to access private information. Number one, we have the codes. We have access codes. Number two, we have cookies. Number three, we have tokens. Tokens are usually used for access between computers, between servers, Cookies are used on websites when, uh, when you request access. When you log in on a website, you get a cookie and it is stored in your web browser. The tokens is also used for mobile apps because in mobile apps, you're not in a web browser, so the cookies aren't the mechanism we use. We use a token. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Okay. And finally, the authorization codes are only used when we are using an app that is asking for permission to access information on another server. For example, when we download a photo editing app that is asking permission to post on our Facebook. What is the resource server? A resource server gets this access codes from the server that is the authorization server it only gets them encrypted so tokens are encrypted cookies are encrypted all the information is encrypted 
An access token is a permission with a defined scope that allows you to access certain assets on someone else's property. OAuth needs an ID service. We already spoke about this because it can't pass ID tokens. Scopes. We want to have very granular specific permissions. For example, email, read or write, email, delete, contacts, read, contacts, write, whatever makes sense in your system. I hope this video is useful. This was a summary of stuff that I'm learning and implementing and using and it is a continuous uh, effort to provide you this information. So I really hope you guys can like, share and subscribe so I can keep posting more information that I'm using and that I'm learning. So I hope you guys can benefit from it too. Have a great day guys. Please like and subscribe. Goodbye.